Saints fall 27 to 13. Bobby, the Saints got their ass kicked, period. That's being kind, Christian. Uh, that, that, that's being kind. Um, but you know what? How you match up against certain teams, the Saints have never matched up well against the Ravens in the history. You know how uh, you might say, well, the defense is a little down. Oh, man, they didn't look down to me. Okay, so we shut out the Raiders. Man, the Raiders are garbage. Uh, they, you know, we're all excited. Oh, we beat the Raiders. I, I, you know, I, I, I want to drink the Kool-Aid. I, I want to say, okay, we're going to win two in a row. Man, the Ravens punked us. It looked like the JV versus the varsity. Now, uh, that to me, the Ravens are still kind of like old school football. And like I said, it's all about the matchup, uh, what you're going to do. Now, the one thing that came about, and I said this in the pregame, you know, we talked with Deuce and everybody, and and this is how the Ravens play. Can you run the ball, and can you stop the run? There ain't nothing sexy about Lamar Jackson. He's 12 or 22, 133 yards. He was even mad at himself. He missed guys that were high school wide open. But, uh, Christian, we lucky he didn't hit those plays. It would have really been a stomp. But, boy, with his feet, is he magical or what? Christian, I think he might be as good, if not better, than Michael Vick. And I covered Michael Vick. I was doing the radio in Atlanta, Michael Vick was playing. He was magic, you know, at Florida State. Now, I think Lamar was magic at Louisville. But, Virginia Tech. Uh, 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 no, uh, Lamar Jackson? No, I'm talking about M- Michael Vick. Yeah, no, I'm talking about Lamar Jackson. You said, okay. No, Michael Vick's at Virginia Tech, right. what he did in college, but Lamar Jackson at Louisville. Now, Lamar Jackson, I think, has gotten better as a pro. Michael Vick was already good as a college player. He just continued that from Virginia Tech into the NFL. Well, Lamar Jackson, I think he's actually even gotten better. Now, what the Ravens are going to do, uh, now, uh, you know, it's all about that Deshaun Watson, that's the kind of money he's trying to get. But what's going to end up happening, they're going to franchise tag him. I think he's still going to get paid, but that's where he's at. But you look at running the ball, stopping the run. Okay, what was going to give? Okay, we were uh, running, we, we were, you know, rushing the ball for 141 and a half yards a game. We were eighth best, but they were the fifth best uh, run defense. Uh, so what occurred? We had 48 yards rushing. We averaged 3.2. Uh, now, with that being said, we're having to play catch up. So you could say uh, we only had 15 rushing attempts all come about. So what about uh, when you flip it? Well, you know, because Lamar Jackson, uh, they always could be amongst, I'd be shocked if they're not always in the top five rushing teams. Well, they were number two in the NFL, averaging 165 yards a game. Uh, well, they got 188, and they got 4.7 yard average. And that was one thing. We had outstanding run defense in previous seasons, but this year we were 14th. We hadn't been the run defense, and a lot of fans are frustrated. And you think Coach Allen would understand this? And uh, Cam Jordan and Demario Davis, all the leaders of the defense, that was supposed to be the strength of our team. Well, if you're going against Lamar Jackson and their strength, that that looked the, the strength of our team, our defense against them, man, we were getting gashed sometimes. Even when we knew they were running, they were like falling forward for seven, eight yards, it seemed like. I wrote a number of plays, and it was like, and, uh, um, it, it was like, Christian, all of a sudden, it's like, uh, let me see where I can find this. Like, even like Drake, it was like plus 18, plus 8. But then you're writing down like a, a few runs, and it, and it just like uh, multiplies. You don't even. Bobby, get, I got it right here. Yeah. Their first what was possession. it back-to-back? Yeah, the first possession. Of the- okay, I got it right here, too. Okay. Okay, this is the third quarter, okay? Like plus 12, plus 8, plus 9, plus 9, plus 6. You're like, where the hell's the defense? What? I, I'm, now think about that. Okay, plus 12, plus 8, plus 9, plus 9, plus 6. What? Are we supposed to be a good defense? I don't think so. That's when they go 11 plays, 61 yards, 6 minutes, 35 seconds. The, the drives were always in double digits, and it seemed like it was always around 7 minutes. I mean, on that drive, to set the tone to show the Saints, hey, we're in freaking charge, and it don't matter what you think you're going to do to us. Out of those 11 plays, they ran eight of them. On an 11-play drive, they had eight runs, and it didn't matter. The Saints couldn't stop them. And then all of a sudden, it's 17-3. to You know, so when you, when you look at that, um, uh, Christian, it was just it was amazing we're even in the game because, to me, I don't know if it was even that close. And then you break down uh, time of possession, who was setting the tone. Well, they had the ball almost 16 minutes more. 
Uh, and that correlates with third down. Uh, a team, offensively, we'd always want to be between 45 48%. Now, 50% is ideal, but that you got to be realistic. Uh, we've done that before with Drew Brees and Sean Payton. We've been like 53% somewhere around there. But the Ravens were 9 of 15, 60%. We were 3 of 11, 27%. That, that's terrible. That's what you want your defense to be, not your offense, <laughs> as far as converting on third down. Now, uh, penalties, I, I thought they had a few penalties. But, Christian, I like the way the game was called. They called 10 total penalties, not 10 against one team. Five against the Ravens, five against the Saints, 31 uh, to 40 yards. So that, that was even a non-factor. So I, I, you can't you know, call in who that nation, oh, the Russ cheated us. It's not like the LSU-Alabama game. Oh, was the ball tipped or not? They will recover the fumble. That's a stupid rule. He's out of bounds. If we don't get the fumble? No, it wasn't nothing like that going on against the Ravens. It wasn't, it wasn't that like all oh, the penalties, the referees, uh, you know, how, how can you miss that call? It was none of that. But I always say this, how we structured. Like Alan Kamara. He, if you look at Alan Kamara, he had 62 total yards. The way we structured, he needs to double that every game. I'm not saying like, you know, he has 150, 860 yards and all. That's outstanding. But we need him to be about 125 to 130 total yards as a running back and receiver. We had 30 yards rushing, 3.3 yards average. Man, you see Roquan Smith take him a couple of times. I ain't seen nobody tackle Alvin Kamara like that too many times. Roquan Smith just just snatched him and just threw him down. You you don't see that too often. And then uh, looking, okay, like uh, as far as receiving – uh, he had three catches, 32 yards. He had that long gain of 19. But it was nothing uh, to write home about. The Ravens, again, and, and I had said this. Um, now think about this. If I'm a Ravens fan, I'm like, how in the hell are we not undefeated? Do you know they've had nine straight games? They've led by double digits every game, and they lost. They lost. Now, they didn't close out some other games, but they've lost three games, and every game they've been winning by double digits. So they, 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 what Christian? They should be nine and zero instead of now six and three. When you're winning by double digits in the NFL, but I think adding Roquan, that's why you might say, "Oh, the Ravens need to go get receivers. Got to get receivers. They want to get back to more of that Ravens defense. They want to make Patrick Queen better, so they go get Roquan Smith." And I, on I, a I, night, Bobby, where you honored the Dome Patrol. Oh, that was embarrassing. That that was embarrassing. The, no, the the. the they need to bring the Dome Patrol back. They need to bring back Pat Swilling and Ricky Jack to some other game because that, that was garbage. That was not in no damn defense. Man, that was humiliating. I, I don't think that ever happened to the Dome Patrol, to tell you the truth. Chris, I, I, don't, I don't remember just getting whooped in the trenches. Again, where it's like they're falling forward for first downs. I mean, what, did they have a pep talk at halftime? What did they talk about at halftime? When they come out and they gain – Okay, we're going to run right at you. Can you stop? We're going downhill. 12 yards, 8 yards, 9 yards, 9 yards, 6 yards. Christian, that's like high school plays. This is the NFL. You shouldn't be able to uh, be, dominant, be dominated like that. Bobby, it's also embarrassing when the, the visiting team brings their own chant, and you can hear it on TV. They yeah, well, 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 oh, well, that's oh, why oh, we got to oh, win, but we don't have a dome field advantage. We lose it more than we're winning in the dome. So you know what happens? It's going to be like Las Vegas. You know, it's a destination city. So people want to come to New Orleans. And if their team's winning, hell yeah, they're going to cheer. So you got to make it where they come and spend their money and they don't win. So they, yeah, come here, have a good time, but we're going to kick your butt. Well, that's not the case. They can come here and celebrate and all that. It's kind of like Las Vegas. Okay, when you go to Las Vegas, you have more fans than the Raiders. And then, and then you're doing your chant in Las Vegas. You don't want them doing that in New Orleans. But I, Christian, I, I heard the chant. What are you talking about?